So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I hear he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Hey everybody. Hey FBI, how are you doing? <laughs> Happy birthday. Well then. <laughs> yeah, I said I was going to play this yesterday during the, the Sims 4 stream. And uh, yeah, here we are. I didn't think I'd ever play this game again. Whoa. Alright. But yeah, we're gonna check this game out. Plan Z. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna read off the about or the Steam description. Is it? Plan Z is a true to life post apocalyptic zombie survival game that includes an imminent nuclear meltdown. So it's a zombie apocalypse and a nuclear melt meltdown, which shapes your every decision in the game to survive. Wow, that, that doesn't last that long. The loop? Maybe like 20 seconds? Oh, hey, Sab. How are you doing, Sab? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what this game is. It's a zombie, another zombie game, actually. So it's kind of fitting, fitting my the theme of Apocalypse type games that I've been playing lately, like State of the K, and then Days Gone. I love zombie games, but this one's a little different. It is a point-and-click adventure game, I think. But some of the screenshots showed that there's like driving and like a first-person shooter section. Which will be interesting. We never got to that section when I first played this game back in like 2016. Zombies look. <clears throat> these zombies look kind of funny. A budget one at that. I'm doing fine, working hard. Last few days feel like crap, but feel proud about myself at the same time. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm just, uh, you know, playing, playing video games past the time. It was an early summer for me, so I'm still adjusting. But yeah, I think it's an interesting time. That's one thing to say. <laughs> But how how was your uh, your stream, Sab? Uh, 
didn't you have like a stream that you were gonna do? Thanks for this, man. Yeah, no problem, FBI. But yeah, we might as well get started. We'll start from the beginning because I don't remember the story. But all we know right now is it's a zombie survival game with a nuclear meltdown. Let's go. Cutscenes look a little, really rough. Bathtub. Oh, it's a zombie. Fight him off. <laughs> Throw. He threw him on the toilet. Smash him. Smash it. Well. Alright, alright. Let's grab. Let's grab the gun. He doesn't even know what zombies are. Or what's going on? He's just shooting people that were breaking into his house. Oh shit, we're out of. Aw, oh, damn it. Bad plan, try again. Alright, we failed. Damn, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I was thinking about it, didn't have enough balls to do it, so I re just recorded four, five hours and got seven minutes of footage out of that. Damn. I hate when that happens when you record that long and you only have like a few hours of, or a few minutes of footage. It happens to everybody. Alright, well, we failed. We died, guys, so that that's the end of that game. Um, thank you for watching. No, let's just keep, keep going. Well, I guess it's like trial and error. Can we, we can skip this part. We'll hide in the cabinet. Just finish murdering somebody. What? Oh, I thought we were going to hide in there. days earlier it's like one of my favorite movies the 28 days series that's loud <sighs> a day in the life of FBI That was really unnecessary amount of uh, cuts for somebody to walk to the door. You know how many, did you see how many camera like, cuts it, it did? Like four. All he did was walk to the door from his bed. Now we gotta watch him brush, brush his teeth. What did he do there? Right, now he's having a shower. You know what? I'm going to turn this down a bit. It's, it's deafening. It's still pretty loud. Just walking over to my cabinet. What should we wear today? This 
suit or the other suit. Ah, living the dream. That kind of looks like FBI suit. Yep, just living the dream. Unnecessary cutscene. Alright, here we go. Save point. <laughs> Last time I played this. 06. January, February, March, April, May, June. June 6th. 2016 is the last time I played this. His dream is to own a bunch of suits. Crafting? What the hell? There's crafting? Are we, uh, and we saved it. 666, the devil's number. I continue. Here we go. When the when the game looks better than the cutscenes. Talk to wife. FBI's wife. Hey honey. Hey, wake up. <laughs> You're not allowed to sleep. Oh, what what is it now? I just wanted to say good morning before I left. <clears throat> That's all. Can you be a little more quiet? Have a great day at work. And don't forget to bring your wallet this time. Zzz. Um, Where's my wallet again? <laughs> He's asleep. Should be by the lamp on your nightstand. Okay, thanks. I'm really tired. Zzz. What is all right? Sweet dreams. I'll be back soon. So we gotta click everywhere we go. So it's a 3D point and click game. Grab my wallet. My wallet. I'll need this before I head off to the to work. Let me store it in my inventory at the top of the screen. Tip. Inventory items can be dragged onto other items. Oh. Beach picture? <laughs> that Photoshop job. We photoshopped this picture of us at the beach. We can't afford to go to one. Broke the fourth wall already. <clears throat> We have a daughter. My daughter Emma. I work so much. I have hard. I hardly get to see her much. Hmm. I'll need my wallet before I head out. You have your wallet right here, buddy. Got my wallet. I can head off to work now. Oh shit. The neighbor. Oh no, virus breakout. Here we go. Corona. Welcome home. This is, would be really handy to have, but I, I don't think I would ever buy one. This game predicted it, yeah. Look out behind you, FBI. Oh, something's not right. Your buddy. Get out of the way. Scratch my head. What's happening? Hey. Hey. Susan, are you okay? Susan. 
We just oh shit. <laughs> My eyes. She's got corona. Get away from me. Get just kick kicked her. Stay back, stay back. That was a nice move, FBI. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, no. Get away. <laughs> Social distancing. It says Corona demonetized. What just happened? Don't cl He's gonna close it? Don't close it. Deal with it. I oh, mean, if I check on her, I'll probably... ...get bit. See what happens. Got bloody eyes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn it. We bit our leg and now we're defenseless. Try it again. How far do we have to go back? I remember, yeah, I remember this would, this is a, a annoying thing about this game. Oops. I have to, I have to do all this over again. I talk to the wife again. At least I can skip through it. Grab my wallet. Yeah. You should be able to save, or there should be an auto save. Close the garage. Let our wife deal with it. I need to talk to Bill. And yeah, I got a present for you. Bill, I need to talk to you. Hmm, doors open. Something doesn't feel right. Could you imagine if you couldn't skip these cutscenes and then you, uh, you have to fail? Or you would fail? A cinematic? So much blood, what happened? I wonder if we actually do work for the FBI. And yeah, there is Bill. There's Bill. Here we go. Save. Showing us some mercy. What's wrong with your wife? I don't know. Something's happened to her. I can't explain it, but she's not here herself. She's acting like a, a lunatic. Is that why your arm is bleeding? What happened? She... She bit me. She started scratching herself and then... Then me. I tried to hold her down, but... She just went crazy. Then look in her... The look in her eyes. I looked into them and... And... 
she was gone. I'm so sorry, Bill. When did this happen? Everything was fine last night. We had dinner. Watched some TV, a nature channel. And we headed off to bed. Same old normal routine we've been doing for 30 years. When I woke this morning, she was gone and I usually get up before her. I found her here. She was like a wild animal. She tore up the, uh, this entire room, then she started clawing at her own face. Boomers? <laughs> her face and hands were covered in her own blood. I tried to calm her down. Susan, are you, are you alright? So obviously she isn't. She's like... I'd get away from her. Then she lunged at me. I tried to knock some sense back into her. <laughs> Give her a slap. That only made it worse. Jeez. I didn't want to hurt her but I pushed her, my own wife, down the stairs. She, she wasn't my wife anymore. That was quick. I haven't checked on her since. Damn, my arm hurts. I must have been out for a while. The pain woke me up now. Didn't want to call the police. And you were here. What have I done? You kicked your wife down the stairs without knowing that she's a zombie. My sweet Susan. I think I killed her. Are you enjoying this game so far? All this game is missing is some epic sound effects and MLG. <laughs> it's alright. I mean, it's a game that I played when it first came out, like three years ago. And I said I would play this yesterday during the Sims stream for FBI's birthday. So that's the, one of the main reasons why I'm playing this again. And I never finished it. And there's only one chapter. I guess there was plans for, for more. Whoops. But it never felt followed through. Susan's not dead. Susan's crazy. She attacked me this morning. Oh, I've seen her. Your crazy wife attacked me this morning. I locked her in my garage. She was like a mad woman, out of control. She attacked me and I locked her in my garage for her own safety. I'm so sorry, Gary. She is definitely not herself. Thank God she's safe in your garage. No need to apologize. She's a bit bruised, but alive. My sweet Susan. She'll be all right. Gary, can you call 911? Bill's gonna turn into a zombie. We have to kill him now. Hmm, phone's dead. Looks like the battery is missing. A landline? No one has cell phones? These guys aren't really boomers. Married to Bill. She is retired and spends most of her time at home. <laughs> they just have awkward pictures of themselves on the wall. Like... Just their face. Bill. Married over 40 years to his wife, neighbor, to Gary for two years. Retired but still works on the side as a private jet instructor. Is it still too loud, guys? Just let me know. I don't need to go in here.
It's all right. Bill, do you know where the battery is? Sorry, Gary, I'm not sure. The room's a mess. Where did you usually keep the phone? It should be around there somewhere. We've always kept it in that corner by Susan's picture. Thanks. I can see the phone right here. Need to put a battery back in the phone. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I came out three years ago. Oh, hey, penguin. Top of the morning to you. Yep. Good morning, penguin. Well, it's about 4 p.m. for me. Or around 4 p.m. Alright, put the battery on the phone. Do any of you guys have a landline like this? I remember having a phone, a landline like this, like a wireless phone. Five forty in the morning. The heck, it's busy. Hold on a second, I'll try my cell. <laughs> he had his cell phone on him. Why didn't you just use that? Where's my phone? Okay, yeah, we forgot our phone. I know I brought it with me this morning. You probably It fell on the floor when you got attacked by Susan. Bill, just hold on, okay? I'll run back over to my house and call the police. Gary, before you do that, can you help me? My arm is bleeding. Can you head into the bathroom there? <clears throat> In the lower drawer, I think there are some bandages and wraps. There should be a first aid kit in there as well. Gary, can you get those for me? <laughs> yeah. As soon as you stop talking, I will. Yeah, sure, I'll be right back. Just hang in there. So many stiff animations. It does look like it was made in the, from the, in the PS2 days. But that's how Steam is now. Seems to be jammed shut. I'll need something to pry it open with. The plunger. Screwdriver. This will come in handy. These puzzles are really easy. There we go. That should free up this drawer. It should slide out now. There's the first aid kit. This should help. F that guy just eat to your house. Yeah. He's zombie. He's zombie now. I said I would get them, Bill. You didn't have to come in here. He's hungry and angry. Oh shit. <laughs> Slowly turn around. Oh, you wanna go, Bill? His red eyes. Trying to hug me. I'm not into you, Bill. Get away. <laughs> you must be really, like, really confused.
That'd be really hard to do, but by the way. Lifting yourself up like that? <laughs> that eye twitch. What the hell? Toilet lid. I already know it's the toilet lid. Cause that's what I named my other video my video for this. <laughs> Epic, we just killed Bill. We'll grab our phone. Oh shit, I think we failed. We didn't even have a save point, damn it. So if we fail this, we have to do that all over again. Should have went to the back. Damn it. Exactly how Walking Dead started. What's going on? Do the hedge clippers? All right. At least there's no time limits on, like, our choices. Okay, we're good now. We should go check on our wife. Where are my keys? Lock myself out. Sleep, remember? It's not going to open up. Shit, I had... <laughs> what? I didn't know we had a time limit. Damn it. Really? Load point. Oh, man. I guess we have to load it from here. That's so such bullshit right there. Alright, I guess we have time. We're, I mean, we're timed. They have a strange question, you know, game called The Saboteur? That's a really good game. Also got my nickname from The Saboteur. Added 8x. No, I don't think I... I don't think I've heard of... Saboteur. Is it a is it a PlayStation game? It kind of sounds familiar. The auto saves in this game are are, are bullshit. Are terrible.
I would give up if it if I was in your place, for heaven's sake. <laughs> it's a, it's a really short game, so we might as well finish it. It's gotta stop making poor decisions. Or we just have to make faster decisions, I guess. I want to see this again. It should save right after, or before, each cutscene. Like, what were the developers thinking? I, mean, I guess they would probably, they're trying to pad out the game, but... Front door... Skip. Cheers. Let's cut some zombie faces off. <laughs> really? Oh, no, what? You still got bit. Ah. <laughs> you gotta see yourselves get eaten. Holy shit, those screams. Those were pretty good. It's a game, a 2009 game, it's on all platforms. It was Pandemic Studios' last game because. Got shut down by EA. Oh, cool. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out. If it's on Steam or on the PlayStation Store, he wants a kiss. Damn it. They really. If. I doubt they're ever going to continue this game, but. They need to add better saves. Or checkpoints. Should I even... Should I even go to the front? Nah, don't. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go to the back door. Or at least on origin for the PC. Excuse me. Should be on a PS store. Alright. Yeah, maybe we'll check it out for a viewer request game. I do plan on finishing Days Gone this week. I kind of want to see what happens when you attack them with a the plunger. Alright, Sab. You have a good one. And definitely give streaming a, a shot. Or try it out, Sab. Back door. Sarah, why is she up? Something's not right. Oh, this is sad. Oh, she had to kill somebody. Oh, Susan. Sarah, what did you do? Yeah, thank you. Are you okay, Sarah? What's going on here? What's going on around here? That's the first thing you say to me when you see me see I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a rough morning. Could you please tell me what happened here? You can see that Susan's dead. I've been handling things by myself as usual. Jeez. <laughs> no time for a fight. Can we there's not not fight right now. You know I have to work overtime to pay off the house. How did this even happen? <laughs> We're throwing in a fight while there's a dead body here. 
I was struggling with her and worrying about Emma and before I knew it, I was on the dining room floor stabbing Susan to death. How did she get inside? I was in the bathroom when I heard a loud banging from the garage. That was my fault. I thought somebody was trying to get in the, into the house so I called 911 but it was busy. Then I saw your car outside and I thought it was you in there. I opened the door and that's when Susan came after me. She kept coming at me and we ended up in the dining room. That's when I realized she didn't look right. I grabbed a knife, the knife, and I just kept going. She wouldn't stop. So why you gotta go for the head. She might not even be dead. Tell Sarah about what's happening. Must be something in the water. People are just going crazy today. When I left this morning, Susan attacked me in the driveway and I locked her in the garage for her own good. Oh my god. That's how she ended up in the garage? Do you even think about us at all? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Damn it. This is my fault. I can't even protect my own family. I'm sorry again. I'm pretty worked up after this, so I, I went to talk to Bill about Susan, but she, he was in bad shape. He didn't make it. Killed him with a toilet lid. What do you mean? He was okay at first, and told me what happened with Susan. He was bleeding pretty bad, so I looked for the first aid kit. All of a sudden, he had the same blank stare Susan had, and came after me. I didn't know. I did what I had to do. Uh, that'd be a really good profile pic, by the way. What are you going to say? We killed both of them? Something's gotta be wrong with them. Maybe they contracted rabies or something. They weren't themselves. And we had to... We had to... The police will understand. I'll try calling again. I definitely use Gary's... That picture as a profile pic. Where's Emma? When I called 911, I locked her door. She's okay. Thank God. You're just protecting her. How am I going to live with myself? Gary, I've got blood on my hands. This was self-defense. We'll get the police here, and it'll be okay, I promise. The phone's not gonna work. Hold on. Good, I don't feel so well. Did she get bit? Hurry and call 911. You should be able to save. I don't need to go here. I'm looking for the phone. It's always the damn water. They poisoned the water supply. Here we go. Busy signal. What the heck? I need to get back to Sarah. <laughs> Try calling 911, but the no one's answering, so strange. What do you mean? Someone's got to answer. You've got to try harder. I think I'm hurt, Gary. How bad, at least. You're conscious. That's a good sign. 
I'll look for the first aid kit, okay? she put the first aid kit what happened here oh hey Clarina how are you medicine cabinet forgot it's locked I gotta find the key the medicine cabinet key that's smart Where do we put that key? I'm good doing homework. How are you? I'm alright. We'll probably keep it with the keys, right? Hmm. Medicine key isn't here. Sarah would know where it is at. I think our wife got bit, so she, we might have to kill her. Sir, I can't seem to find the key for the medicine cabinet. Do you know where it is? Ah, uh, I really can't remember right now. Can you please just break, break it open? I need you to concentrate. Try to remember where you put it last. Of course you need me to remember everything. You're the one who left it by the TV, I think. Ah, please hurry and get the first aid kit. I'm so weak. Sarah's kind of annoying. It's by the TV, she says. A picture of a tree we carved our names into for forever. How long... That last, there's the key. <laughs> welcome back to, welcome to throwback day. Nice, we got aspirin, cold relief. Here's the first aid kit, thank God. All this for a first aid kit. Incoherent, Gary, I feel strange, help me. Yeah, she is gonna turn into a zombie. Sarah. Sorry, I got the first aid kit. I don't feel too well. Let's get you seated on a chair. I'll take care of you. Scandalous. Fainting. Yeah, she got bit. Oh my gosh. Is she bit? Secure her to the chair. Let me find something to secure her to the chair first. Then we'll take care of this bleeding. She's gonna be really pissed off at us if she if it's just a cut. She'll have something for the divorced attorneys. Wait, I don't I don't have to go that way. Gosh. 
keep clicking off screen. Duct tape. There we go. I'll need this duct tape to keep her in the chair. should do it. She, she should be okay for now. <laughs> Look how much duct tape we used. I gotta treat her cuts and find something to really clean it. There's bleeding pretty bad. I'm going to need some... Hmm. These bandages are too small. They won't stop the bleeding. I'll need something bigger. That's way too much duct tape. Kitchen cheers, this could come in handy. Let me store this in my inventory. We'll use a throw pill. Piece of curtain. No books. Great for reading, not so great for stopping bleeding cuts. I like how there's like dialogue for every everything. That's that's nice. What if I can use one of these shirts or sweaters? Sweater, yeah. Can't use this item on this. Sweater, this could come in handy. I'm going to need to cut this up for it to be useful. Tip, some items can be combined. Let's make new items, try dragging up. Let's tie these strips of cloth around Sarah's hand to stop the bleeding. Yeah, she turned. No, this can't be happening. Snap out of it, hon. No, oh, please don't do this to me. I need you. I can't still, I can still fix this. I promise you'll be, you'll be fine. I promised you that from the day I married you. Let me try 911 again. I need an ambulance here now. She's gone, buddy. This is sad. Dialing 911. Thank God. We can save. those things. Leo. It's a Resident Evil quote. Yeah. Yeah, this is Resident Evil. They totally ripped this off of, from Resident Evil. This is the Resident Evil that our remake, original remake. Expect the police to be at full force at least. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I mean, if you're gonna copy a game, Resident Evil is a really good one. I think you forgot to say actually save. I think I did. Oh man, I didn't read those. Typewriter. Typewriter. What kind of old police station did I get myself into? Yeah, this is definitely a reference to Resident Evil. Door. What do I have in my inventory? Must be electronically locked. Doesn't look like electronic locks. Computer. This computer needs <clears throat> a password to log in. I'll look around if any other computers are already logged in. Here we go. Looks like all the doors are locked except for the locker room door. Peter needs a password, yeah. I think they're all... Yeah. Oh shit. There we go. Chief. There are people at attacking other people and no one's doing anything. What the heck is going on? What's your name, officer? Leo. Leo Johnson. This is my first day. <laughs> You're the new rookie. What a hell of a welcome. What happened to the station? There must be some kind of virus outbreak, and I've been sending my men all over the, the city, but... They haven't been coming back. You look like you're in bad shape, Chief. Can I help you at all? One of them zombies got me real bad. Once you're bit, you're a goner. They're actually calling them zombies in this? I've seen my men turn sometimes in an hour or a minute. Can you find any survivors? Not out the front door that's swarming with those things. Take my card key. You can use it on the computer to unlock the electronic door. The armory should lead you to a back door. Yes sir, I'll do my best. Yes sir. Good luck, Johnson. You'll need it. Thanks. Can I go over here? No, I can't. Let's go over here. I bet we're gonna need three of those coins to open a secret passage underneath the statue. I bet that's what's gonna happen. Oh, hey, Judgment. I'm outside burning sticks. Nice. We're playing Resident Evil... Resident Evil 2. Can't use this item on this. What do I have to use it like a? Use it on the computer. Why did he accept that? If it was a zombie apocalypse, so calmly and quickly.
I don't know. He, uh, you seem pretty, pretty okay with it. ED is the card key on this computer. Where did we use the card key? Was there like a swipe, a swiping thing or? It's better not to ask any questions. Just, they, they already know it's a zombie apocalypse. Wonderful, see like Umbrella Corp. Or Claire. Or, yeah. Wonderful, see Claire. Oh. Or Nemesis. Oh, wait, no, not Nemesis. Mr. X. There's a locker here. Damn, locked as usual. Looks like the guys came in into the take the guns. Maybe they left the key around here. Nothing in here. How long have you been streaming? Both mine and Mark's notifications don't work anymore. We're about an hour. Nothing in here. Hey, Mark. Heard you guys were burning sticks. Whoops. Did I find it? Once the text shows up, it like disappears and it's gone forever. You can't read, not read it anymore. Not in here either. Anything else we didn't click on? Here we go. Why would they leave the key in this herb pot? At least I found it. go finally unlocked hopefully they left a big gun just my luck one hand gun left cool I think this is where it turns into a shooter I go this way okay it's go time Yeah, it turned into- it's a shooter now. Whoa, what the- I'm shooting it! That is so loud. The aiming is terrible. I don't even think it matters if I shoot them in the head or not. That frame drop. Oh, now it's back to a Point and click. Just that little shooter section. Looks like the door is jammed. Something looks out of place. Tip, some items can be pushed around. I gotta solve a Resident Evil style puzzle. Oh, here we go. Another first person section. 
They should have just made the whole game like this. They took my gun away. I should play pinball. Wait. Mostly Steph, my back is on its way out. 100% there will be more ridiculousness later. I should play pinball while I watch the stream. Yeah. Oh, I can, okay, I actually have to push it. Now we get a sword. Uh, it's actually pretty cool switching from like first person to a point and click game. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know why anybody would do that though. Like, should stick to one genre. Locked. Maybe the sergeant has the key. Oh yeah, we'll use the sword to unjam the door. Certainly an interesting combo, yeah. It's like, um, I don't know, what would be another interesting combo? A bunch of useless books. A map of Australia, maybe the sergeant lived there. Sergeant's key. Finally found the sergeant's key. I can open the door now. I don't even know that w w that's what we were doing. See that we floated for a second. Barricade. Looks like someone sealed off this hallway. I need to find a way to go around it. This barricade. I don't know what the what the point what of that first scenario or that first section of the game. Oh shit. Are we ever going to play as Gary again or is it just Resident Evil 2 now? Maybe it's just like a short story of the origin of Walking Dead. Stay here. Stay there, let me get some more help. I'm not going to make it, but my partner's still out there fighting for his life. Jesus, what were you guys doing? We were barricading the hallway when the those zombies stormed the station and all hell broke loose. I don't, well, why are they calling them zombies? We didn't have much time. Just call him dead, walking dead, or one of the, them was gigantic, this huge monster that crushed our guys left and right. That's Mr. X right there. <laughs> he got it, got to a good spot and my partner was holding them off with just a shotgun and when I tried to get more ammo, you gotta find him. There's too much steam blocking the gate, there's no way I can get through. You can turn the vent from on, on over there. But you will have to transfer this valve back there to reflow the steam. My partner 
He's got a wife and kid at home. You gotta help him. Rest in pre peace, brother. Oh, I wonder if his partner is uh, Gary. I need to find a wrench so I can loosen this valve. That should do it. I need, need to use the valve to stop the stream. Oh, I didn't want to go over there. All right, he's dead. That wasn't much of a puzzle. I gotta say, the puzzles aren't very good for a point-and-click adventure game. I gotta say, it's very ambitious. <laughs> I like that. Like, they, they actually tried. They just... I think they should have just focused on one thing. Here we go. God damn, that's loud. Shotgun. Nice. Oh, Mr. X! It's Mr. X! I'm out of ammo! What the hell? What is this game? Stuck on something. Where am I supposed to go for this? Oh, I just... Okay, just bob and weave them. Save point. All right, gonna try. Make sure we save. Right here. <laughs> yeah, he's invincible. I just wasted all my shotgun ammunition on him. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna take a quick break here, guys. I'll be right back. Let's see. I want to see what happens. We're basically playing Resident Evil 2 right now fan-made game. I don't know how they're not sued. But this is the original Re Resident Evil 2 remake. All right, I'll be right back, guys. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Havnin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or 
I don't know. Watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. He's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. He's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. I'm back. There we go. See the game now. Continue. Hey, we're back with Gary. Where's the police when you need them? 
What about Emma? Our daughter. There's no way I can let Emma see this. Sorry, hun, but I need to put you in the basement. <laughs> I still need to get a hold of the cops, though. I've got no choice but to take Emma to the station with me. Yeah, he is a co he is a cop. I like how the music just starts again. I have to clean up all the blood before Emma sees it. That's a cleaning cleaning game. No, this isn't the real Resident Evil. So much blood. Wait, why is there blood here? I need to assess the other rooms too. No blood over here. Let's go assess the other rooms. It looks like there's some blood here. This is pretty bad, but at least that's the last of it. Where does Sarah keep the cleaning supplies? <laughs> now we gotta go ask Sarah. Sarah, where is the cleaning supplies? Is it me? Are these... These chairs really big. Or are we just really short? Oops. I think this is the basement door. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Keep clicking off the screen. This game doesn't support full screen, so... I have to be careful not to click off. What? You, it's not over there? Bathroom. Yeah, that'd be a good one, but I don't know. We never had... We got... We never got to uh, explore the house. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Here we go, the cabinet. I, I swear I clicked, o hovered over that. Paper towels. Should do it. That's toilet paper. What do you think this game game's budget? <laughs> it's probably just one dude who made it. And he didn't make a chapter two, so I'm assuming he didn't make that much money from it. Finally, clean up, clean up around the house. Wait. It. it only took our our wife turning into a zombie. Oh shit! I think the camera may have broken. All right. There we go. Not that way. Emma, open the door. 
But you said not to. Open the door, we need to go somewhere. Is mommy going with us? No, she went to visit grandma. It's just you and me. Damn it, there's no way we can make, the, make it to the station in my convertible. <laughs> what? I could take Bill's car. He always keeps his keys in the hallway. Wait, Emma. Daddy needs to get one more thing. Stay in your room and don't make a sound. I'm scared, Daddy. It's okay. You'll be safe in your room. And I'll be right back. Don't open the door for anyone. I should find something to protect myself before I go. There should be something around the house I can use. I saw a bat by the front door. Use the chair. Dining room chair. That's not going to work. A baseball bat. Baseball bat. A bit rusty, but still got that arm. <laughs> We still got that arm, guys. We used to play baseball in our college days. Can kill some zombies with that. Flex on them. Is it a first person? Yeah, it is now. We got a baseball bat. Oh, shit. Clicked off the screen. Nice. <laughs> that was our neighbor. This is neighbor's daughter. Just killing everybody now. <laughs> Those physics. Alright. Let's go. Save. We gotta go steal our neighbor's keys now. NRA member. He might have a gun. I don't need to go into the basement. At least it kills him. In, it's better than a, a gun. Baseball bat. No way I'm going back up there. I don't need to go in here. Where, where do we go then? Oh, the keys are right there. You barely see those. Found Bill's keys. Hmm. I remember Bill saying he owned a gun. I might need that. I thought he said he kept it in the basement. I thought we were a cop. Like, can we just use our own guns? There's the gun safe. A puzzle. The four digit combination. And these washing machines are really big, unless we're really short. Of course it's locked. Now what? Hmm. Wait, Bill had a terrible memory, so Susan always made him write things down. Maybe he left himself clues around the safe. Journal. Damn, looks like the vent blew out the papers off the bench. Maybe it's on this sheet. Tip, some inventory 
can be further inspected, tap on the inventory item to view it and tap the item again to close it. All right, that one's just just a piece of paper. Nothing here about the gun safe combination. Let me keep looking. This one tells where gun key is located. That won't do much help to open the gun safe. This one doesn't help much. This one says something about a safe code. I need to read it more. Just a stock image, yeah. One, two, three. Combination is one, two, three. Nothing but random writings on this sheet. Nothing on this sheet to help me open the safe. This one says something about the safe. I'll keep this one. Here we go. Wait, I see a gun part here. It's a frame of a handgun. Looks like Bill disassembled it so he could clean it. Here, we'll try the safe first. Yeah, these look like you can get them from... I don't know, Microsoft Paint. Two is the middle number. One, two, three. Wrong passcode, try again. The two is the middle number, so we just have to guess and test. Wrong passcode again. Wrong one again. Three two four isn't the password. Four. Four two one. Three. Whoops. Three two one. There we go. Three two one. Correct code entered. Save opening. Magazine and ammo. No gun. You got to be kidding me. Well, looks like there's an empty gun magazine. And some ammo, ammo in here. Now, uh, now if I could find the handgun. For now, let me con consolidate space and combine the item, the two items. Tip: Some items can be combined. Try dragging the ammo box onto the empty gun magazine. All right, I've got the magazine loaded now to find the gun that this magazine goes with. Over here. Magazine fits into this lock. Looks like some parts fell off the table. I'm going to have to find all the pieces of the, this gun and reassemble it for it to be any use. So it's on the ground somewhere. I don't see it. In this, in here? I don't need to go in here. Wait, unless I can, like, combine these two. No. Here we go. Barrel. I could barely see that. This must be the barrel for the handgun. Can't see anything. Just hovering. Oh, here we go. Gun frame. Here it is. The top of the gun. I should have all the parts to resemble the handgun. Tip for combining items that require more than two items. You have to craft. You can craft it by clicking the crafting icon on the bottom left of the corner. Now there's crafting. 
Tip continued, you can drag the inventory items into the crafting boxes. If the items are compatible, a new output item will appear. I don't know why he was teaching us this stuff. We're probably only going to be using it once. I can't see the text. Shit. What did I miss there? Looks like I still need to find a key that unlocks the trigger lock. That's smart. That's good gun safety right there. I, I respect that. I appreciate that. I don't know how well that's going to be, how good that's going to be. If somebody tries to break into our house, we're going to find all, this, all these parts and assemble it. Someone says something about the trigger key. Here we go. Somewhere high. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. Somewhere high. I, here we go. Fish. Uh, it's, it's not one of those singing... Wall fishes. Up here? Yeah, there we go. I didn't see that before. Here it is. Here's the key. Those things got in. Let's see how this gun handles. Nice. I'd rather use the... The bat. How many shots do I have to use? The bat was so much better. Save point. Double check. Triple check. Now for Emma. What am I going to tell her? You tied your mo your mother up, or her, her mother up, and then put her in the basement because she turned into a zombie. We already told her that she went to grandma's. Oops. Emma, open the door. We need to go. I want mommy. We have to go right now. Can you open the door? Dot dot. Okay. Don't make me shoot the door open. Or kick it open. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. That's the escort quest now. She looks kind of scary. Her head's really big. Eddie, why is it all messy? Where's mommy? I want mommy. I told you she went to visit grandma. Why didn't she want wait for me? She wasn't in a hurry, honey. And I make sure you stay with by me when we go out. Something happened and they let out a lot of bad people. Okay. Are we going through the back door? Oops. Clicked off screen again. No, we'll go through the front. Her proportions are a little messed up. Her head's really big. The kid. Oh shit. <laughs> what the hell? Now we're driving an RC car. It's a driving game now. To 
GTA Zombie Edition. We sound like we're driving an RC. Well, it handles really well. Give it that. It doesn't spin out like GTA. Yeah, what the hell is this game trying to be? <laughs> it's a point-and-click adventure, first-person shooter, now a, a racing game. Seven four nine. Try. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just following the road here. There's no zombies. Kind of wish we can like run into zombies. It handles really well. It's trying to be everything. Hey, it's Leo. Stop. I'm I'm a human. <laughs> Stop. I'm human. Hurry, get in. We're all humans. What the hell? What the heck is going on? Why are the people attacking each other? It's some kind of crazy zombie virus outbreak. When I got to the station today, almost everyone was gone. My name is Leo Johnson, by the way. I'm Gary, and that's Emma in the back. She's asleep, thankfully. Do you know anything about... The virus? Is it contagious? Can it be cured? It doesn't seem airborne. Looks like the infected have to pass it through an open wound. I haven't seen anyone come back from it. The only way to stop them is to kill them. Damn. Are you saying there's no hope? I'm saying I don't know how far this has spread. I don't know if we're at the epicenter or one of the last holdouts. What I do know is that the president is in Washington. There's a bunker there and hopefully a plan. My aunt also lives there, so that's where I'm headed. What's your plan? Plan Z. My father lives in Oregon. I was thinking about heading that way. You got any family? My parents died when I was a kid. My aunt is in Washington raises me. That's where the military is and that's my plan if you want to go. I'll think about it. I need to get home. Are you sure there's no hope for the infected? Nope. Save. Oh man, I thought they I thought they were partners. Might they might still be partners. I mean the guy that we saw that was dead in the steam room. I think he's Gary's partner. We don't even know if he's a cop or anything. Here we go. What's going on here? Can't click on him. Leo, so what's the plan? I guess we're coming with you. I just need to change first and take care of something. Emma, I need you to go put your clothes in your bag. Can you do that? Okay, Daddy. You need help with anything? No, I got this. I have to go kill Sarah. Well, I thought that was the basement door. Must be over here. Oh, well, this is our our room, right? Okay. I need to change. I didn't get to choose my outfit. 
What am I going to tell Emma or Leo for that matter? It's really quiet. I guess we go talk to Leo. Oh, they're ready. Ready to head out, Gary. Almost. Can you take my little girl to the garage and wait for me? What's going on? Like I said, I need to take care of something. Yeah, here we go. Here's the basement. Yeah, she's a zombie. Sarah. I need you to know I'm sorry. Not just for today, but everything. I hope you can hear me in there and forgive me. I promise you I'll take care of our little girl. She's the only thing good left of me in this world. Goodbye. Oh shit. Can kill her or leave her? Should we... <clears throat> what do you guys think? God, so emotional, I'm gonna make a waterfall. <laughs> you guys think we should kill her? End her, her suffering? Well, we don't know if she's suffering. She's. I think we should leave her. There's a chance that we could cure her in chapter two whenever that game comes out. I can't do this. I'm not going to shoot my wife. I'm sorry. I guess we're going to Washington. Population z zero. Everybody's, everyone's dead. Thank you for playing. All right. <laughs> we beat it. Nice. It took an hour and 48 minutes with a few Failed attempts. Yeah, they were definitely ambitious. Um, they tried to do so many things. And I think they should have focused on one thing. It would have made the game a lot better. I think they should have just remade Resident Evil. <laughs> Maybe change up the story a bit add better puzzles. Those puzzles were way too easy. But... Yeah, it was... It was alright. It was... <laughs> I think it was, it's really cheap too. Wait, let me take a look at the store page. It has mostly negative votes. But it's only... a dollar and nine cents. I have to give him some credit, though, for trying. They should have either made a point-and-click game, or a first-person shooter, or a driving game. There were so many pointless cutscenes. They could have spent more time on the development. <laughs> Let's watch your old vid. No. <laughs> no way. I think I... My old vid... I think it was like 40 minutes long. 
I should have finished the game. Yeah, it was... It was alright. Only reason I'm playing it is because of FBI's birthday. <laughs> I could have went my whole life without playing this game. But I'm glad I did, actually. There's some really f funny surprises. I really didn't think it would rip off Resident Evil like that with with Mr. X. And then the first person shooting and then the, the puzzles. I would definitely play Chapter 2 if they ever made one. But this game's been out for three three years and it still hasn't up updated or re released a chapter two. Ripped off Resident Evil two and seven, <laughs> or did Resident Evil two and seven rip off this game? I don't know. This game did come out before Resident Evil 2. Now oh, Cumulator. No, I didn't I didn't even d download Cumulator. I had to re-download this game. I think I'm going to take a quick break. We might I might come back and play something else. We'll see. Which which game should we play if we do stream another game? Thanks again for this even though you suffered. That's no problem. I had fun. It was fun. Should have played it on Thursday. The throwback Thursday. Your call. I don't know. Maybe we'll play some Minecraft or some Days Days Gone. I I have to get have to get something to eat and then we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end it here, here, and maybe I'll see you guys later. But you guys enjoy your your Saturday. Stay safe. Wash your hands. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Definitely tomorrow we'll play some, um, probably either more mine or uh, not Minecraft, Mass Effect, or we'll see. We'll see if uh, we'll play a different game. I'm not sure if people are liking the Mass Effect live stream. What was the point of the 28 days flashback? <laughs> yeah, it didn't even make sense. I mean. I liked how the stories converged at the end. It just didn't make sense that they were so friendly to each other and why aren't there other survivors? The whole city's dead and there's just two dudes and a kid. But 28 days later and 28 weeks later, those are really good movies. You guys should check them out if you haven't. But yeah, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.